Look at these squares. Which one is bigger, yellow or green? All these black and white squares usually confuse perception, but it becomes obvious that the green square is larger than the yellow one if we put them away. Eric is a police officer. One night, he was walking home from work and noticed a suspicious woman. She carried a huge bag nearby an expensive house. Eric questioned the woman. According to her, it was her house, and she carried some clothes she didn't need anymore to give away to her relatives. Eric arrested her immediately. Why? There are traces in the snow. Some footprints belong to Eric, and others to the woman. But the woman's footprints lead to the window. Why would she leave the house through the window if it really was her home? Therefore, she's a robber. Someone stole an expensive painting from a local museum. The guards locked all doors and windows in the building and called the police. Detective Roberts found three suspects among the museum visitors. George is an art student, and he was making sketches all day. Helen had a yoga class nearby and decided to check out the new exhibition. And Rick said he was just visiting the sites of the city as an ordinary tourist. Can you spot a robber among them? It's Helen. She hit the painting inside her yoga mat. And the rest of the guys have really small backpacks. Nina is an insurance agent. One day, her client Peter called her to an accident scene. He said that he had arrived at that area for a barbecue party and his friends would be there in two hours. He stopped and got out of the car. Suddenly, the car began to move and fell into the lake. But Nina didn't believe him. Why? She saw the footprints. He pushed the car into the lake himself. After dinner, billionaire Rick felt extremely bad. Doctors said that he had been poisoned. His private detective interrogated the cleaning lady, his wife, and the cook. Each of them claimed that they had nothing to do with the crime. The detective searched the house and found a jar with poison and a glove stained with poison. After studying the evidence very carefully, he realized who had poisoned Rick. How? The glove is left-handed which means that the poisoner was left-handed. The only left-handed person is the cook. He holds a soup ladle in his left hand. Tom and Sarah were walking in a forest. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of them. He grabbed Sarah and took her to a creepy castle. Tom rushed to the castle. He saw through a window that the witch turned Sarah into a frog. When the witch left the castle, Tom snuck inside to save Sarah. He found a spell book and opened it. There was a potion recipe to turn Sarah back into a human. Which ingredients should he add to the potion? Snail. Take away an S letter and you get a nail. An orange heart without a letter T turns into orange hair. Mr. Green is an old artist. He used to live alone, but he hired three nurses to help him around the house when he lost his sight. One day, one of the nurses found him unconscious in his bedroom. She called the ambulance. Police officers also arrived and questioned all the three nurses. Wendy said that Mr. Green asked her to read him a novel, and then she left him to cook dinner. Amy said that she had played video games with Mr. Green, and he seemed pretty healthy. Diana said, I came over and found him unconscious, and called the police right away. Who's lying? Amy, Mr. Green was blind, and he couldn't be playing video games. Four scientists went to a physics conference in one car. It was raining all day, heavily. They drove into a long tunnel. It was very dark inside. When the car left the tunnel, Tina was unconscious. They stopped and called an ambulance. Detectives questioned all passengers. What were you doing when you were in the tunnel? Alex was listening to music with headphones on and didn't hear anything. Bobby was sleeping and saw nothing. Diana was focused on the road because it was raining and she had to drive carefully. Who is lying? Diana. It wasn't raining inside the tunnel. Lily got lost in a forest. She got thirsty, but there were no lakes or rivers around her. 
What should Lily do? Use the flesh of a cactus, collect water from leaves using a plastic bag, or drink from a dirty puddle? Cactus flesh has toxic elements dangerous for humans. Plus, what a weird cactus it is. These guys don't really grow in forests. Water from the puddle probably contains many bacteria. So the safest option is to collect water from leaves. Bill got lost in a forest. He doesn't have a lighter or matches. Help Bill to build a fire. He should use his glasses as a lens, direct sunlight onto dry grass, and wait until it lights up. He can also try rubbing a branch against another branch, but this process may take hours. Bob woke up in a creepy basement with three doors. There was a woman behind each of them. Can you help Bob find a safe way? Can you see animal claw traces? There's a wild animal behind this door. And the second woman doesn't look safe either. She has spiders in her hair. The third woman is the safest option, even though she looks like a witch. Kim and Stacy went hiking in a forest. They stopped for the night, and Stacy went to collect some berries. Suddenly, a witch appeared out of nowhere and turned Stacy into stone. Kim got nervous and went looking for Stacy, but she met the witch instead. I turned your friend into stone. Find the right stone and pour this potion. It will turn your friend back to human. The witch said these words and disappeared. Can you help Kim to save Stacy? There shouldn't be any grass under a real big stone. Meanwhile, Sarah has only been a stone for a few hours. Therefore, we need a stone with some grass underneath. Voila! It was Jerry's birthday. He brought a big box with chocolate cakes to treat his friends from college. When the class was almost over, Jerry went to the bathroom. He was so excited to celebrate and share treats with his friends, but the box was empty when he returned. Help Jerry find out who has eaten all the cakes. This lady over here seems pretty suspicious. Is this chocolate on her cheek? Let's challenge your color perception. What colors should you mix to get green? The correct answer is B. What colors should you mix to get orange? The correct answer is B. What color should you mix to get pink? The correct answer is A. Look at this picture. We can see Josh falling into a black hole while his colleague Jill is screaming for help. But the very next day, Josh has returned to the space station. How is this possible? It was April Fool's Day, and the astronauts decided to play a trick on Jill. Lisa told a police officer that her house had been robbed. The most expensive painting was hanging above the bed, but now it's gone. The officer asked, Have you touched anything here? And Lisa said, No. The policeman recorded Lisa's story, and he looked around the house and arrested her for fraud. Why? The blanket is in perfect order. If someone had removed the picture from the wall, they would have gotten on the bed. There are three options. A desert with a couple of cacti, a sunny meadow with an apple and a glass of water, and a sea beach with sharp rocks. One bucket, one glass, and some plastic bags. Which place would you choose? There's no water in the desert, and cacti might be toxic. You can't survive on one apple and one glass of water, but the beach is a great choice. It will provide you with food, and you can prepare fresh water using the stuff on the shore. Put a cup into a bucket. Pour seawater, close it with a plastic bag, and place a little stone in the middle, and leave it out in the sun for a while, and it will get fresh water. Detective Fred was found unconscious. According to doctors, he was poisoned. The suspects are Helen, Nick, Jane, and Dan. Before the accident, Fred circled numbers in his calendar. 12, 
4, 11. Who poisoned him? It was Dan. Fred encrypted the answer using the first letters of each month. Kelly and Sarah gathered together for a cozy sleepover. Sarah opened a dating app and showed Kelly messages from three guys. She asked Kelly to help her choose a good guy. Andrew just bought a new car and offered Sarah to have a ride. Rick sent a picture from an airport and said his boss had sent him on a business trip. Will said he lived alone in a country house. Who is lying? Rick has two tickets in his pocket, and Will doesn't live alone. There are two phones and sunglasses on the table. Therefore, Kelly chose to date Andrew.